Okay, that's it. We're we're now on lot. We're now on Facebook as well. So we're doing Facebook as well. Okay, so we start off with with the psalm, and today, as I say, it's going to be Psalm forty. So we should have that on our screen now. And so we read through Psalm 40 and then we'll get some um, prayer points off of that. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard me cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a, he set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, <laughs> a hymn of praise to our, to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Many, Lord my God, uh, are the wonders I, you, you I have done and the things you have planned for us. None can compare with you. Were I to speak and tell of our deeds, they would be too many to declare. Sacrifice. Sacrifice an offering you did not desire, but my ears you have opened. Burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not require. Then I said, here I am. I have, n I have come. It is written about me in the scroll. So I just let somebody else in. Um, I, desired, I desire to do your will, my God. Your law is within my heart. I proclaim your saving acts in the great, uh, great assembly. I do not seal my lips, Lord, as you know. I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and your saving help. I do not conceal your love and your faithfulness from the great assembly. Give me one second. Let me just put people on uh, mute and we go back to that. We do need to stay on mute for the best part. So we go back to that. <clears throat> do not withhold your mercy from me, Lord. May your love and faithfulness always protect me. For troubles without number surround me. My sins have overtaken me and I cannot see. They are more than their head more than their hairs of my head, and my heart fails within me. Be pleased to save me, Lord. Come quickly, Lord, to help me. May all who want to take my life to uh, be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be back in be back in disgrace. May those who say to me, "Aha, aha," be appalled at their own shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who long for your your saving help always say, "The Lord is great." But as for me, I am poor and needy. May the Lord think may the Lord think of me. You are my helper and my deliverer. You are my God. Do not delay. Okay. So we'll pick out some prayer points from that one. Um so let's have a look at verse one, first of all, as our prayer point. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. So let's pray over that particular um, particular point, first of all. Father, you are a mighty God and you do hear our prayers. We thank you for being with us this morning, Lord. We know that you are with us. We know that you care for us, Lord, and that you, <laughs> you do hear our prayers. So, Father, we do ask you, Lord, to be with us today in these, this prayer meeting and hear our prayers and hear our cries, Lord. You are a merciful and great God, <coughs> King of kings, Lord of lords, uh, <coughs> creator of the universe. The universe, which is of, which is expanding all the time, it's expanding and this, there is no end. And you've created the tidiness of atoms, Lord. And we thank you for that, Lord. It is just awesome to think about the, uh, how great your creation is. But Father, we thank you for that, Lord. And you have created a wonderful, wonderful universe, Lord. And we sit somewhere in between, and we yet you love us, Lord. You love us, um, your people. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us. 
So Father, be with us, Lord. Keep keep close to us, Lord. And we thank you for your great universe. We thank you, Lord, for, for who you are. Lord, you are an awesome God. You are a loving God. And as I say, Father, you hear our cry. You hear our prayers. And as we pray today, Lord, we long for you to hear our prayers and for us to see see you in those those prayers answered. And we know, Lord, that we don't necessarily get the prayers answered in the way we expect or would want, but you answer those prayers in a more mighty way. You answer those prayers in a way that um, uh, help us to um, have more than we actually um, deserve even, Lord, and more than what we ask for, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. You are a mighty God. You do hear our cries. You do hear our prayers, Lord, and we thank you. So I offer this prayer of praise to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. I say, we'd, uh, if anybody wants to pray over particularly the first verse of Psalm 40, which I'll bring up again. So it said, I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. So if anybody wants to pray over that particularly, um, that particular verse, feel free to open your mic. David, your 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 mic is open. Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, I want to turn on that. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. King of glory, we are grateful for all that you have been doing in our lives. Ancient of days, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your compassion. We thank you for your faithfulness. We are so grateful to you, Father. We thank you for this morning, Abba Father, this prayer meeting, for gathering us once again today to seek your face. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Tamara of Pages. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Father, for helping us in time of need. Thank you, Father, for strengthening us. In the time of our weakness, thank you, King of Glory, for when we waited on you, Father, you showed up. When we waited on you, Father, you never disappointed us. But I thank you, King of Glory, for hearing our cry, for hearing the cry of your people, for hearing our cry whenever we call on you, whenever we are waiting on you, whenever we rely on you, Father, you never disappoint us. Father, you are so faithful. You are so faithful, Adonai. You are so faithful, King of Glory, the Holy One of Israel. We, are, we thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. For inclining your ears to our prayers, King of Glory, whenever we call on you, whenever we cry unto you in the morning, in the afternoon, even at night, Father, you listen to us. You heard our cry. You came and delivered us. You came and rescued us. Father, you saved us from our misery. Father, you delivered us from the hand of the enemy. Father, you delivered us from the hand of evil powers of darkness of this world. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory, thank you, Father, for our waiting on you is never in vain. Our patience, our confidence in you, our trust in you, Father, it is never in vain. Father, for whenever we wait on you, King of Glory, you don't disappoint us. Father, whenever we wait on you, Father, you are faithful. You show up, King of Glory. You show up, even when it seems as though you are too far from us. Even even when it seems as though you do not hear us, Father. I am confident that you do hear us whenever we pray, whenever we pray on you, whenever we put our trust in you. Father, you never disappoint us. You never disappoint your people. You never disappoint your people. You never disappoint the righteous. Thank you, King of Glory, for hearing our cry, our heart cry. Thank you for inclining your ears to our prayers. Thank you, Father. 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 I cannot stop thanking you, King of Glory. Thank you for the miracles. The miracles that you have performed in our lives because we trusted in you, because we waited on you. Father, you did not disappoint us. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the, all the adoration and honor of ages in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray. Amen. Amen.
Thank you, David. So we are praying over first of all over Psalm 40. Um, John, you want to you want to pray? Yeah, I want to say, Lord God, we thank you that you always hear our prayers. Amen. Thank you, John. Okay. Um, I'm going to look at bring it up now again, verse 12. So if we go to verse 12, we will see it says, For troubles without number surround me. <laughs> My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and my hearts fail me. So, we look at that one. You can say, for troubles without number surround me. My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head. Father, we do know, Lord, that uh, we are sinners in thought and word and deed, for which we are so sorry. Um, <laughs> Yes, at times it does seem as though our sins do, do take us out, take over us, Lord. But we rely on you, Father. We rely on you in um to and your grace, Lord. And it is your grace that you give us, Lord, that despite our sins, that we are saved. Because we believe in your son Jesus Christ. Your son Jesus Christ came down to save us, and we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for your saving grace and your love and your mercy that comes through your son Jesus Christ. We do not deserve this grace. As I say, Lord, we are sinners and we are so sorry for being sinful people. Excuse me. May your, uh, may we continue to find more people, Lord, to be saved, Lord, and experience your grace because we are all sinners. We are in a fallen world. And Father, the fallen world does seem to overtake us at times. And it does seem to, to get the better of us sometimes. But we ask you, Lord, to help us to continue to be um, to be saved and to be um, experience your grace, Lord. But to have the Holy Spirit within us, Lord. The Holy Spirit is around us, Lord. Let us soak the Holy Spirit into ourselves, Lord, into our lives. That we may live a righteous and holy life, Lord. Not a sinful, sinful life, but life um, uh, that is governed by the world. So, Father, Lord, we do pray, Lord, that you continue to, to be in our lives. You continue to give us the grace of salvation and <laughs> the grace of your Holy Spirit, Lord. So we, we praise you and thank you for this, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. We particularly picked tw uh, verse 12 there. So if anybody particularly wants to pray over that one, feel free to do so. David, I see your mic is open. Yes. I want to pray on verse 12. Okay, please do. Yep. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your love. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Your grace is sufficient to us, the banner rock of ages. Your love is too much. Your love is excess. Your love is immeasurable. King of glory, we thank you, Father. Ancient of days, and the Father, the banner of ages. Father, though we have sinned, though we have come short of your glory, and the Father, your grace upholds us. Father, King of glory, I plead the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the blood of Jesus justifies us of our sin. The blood of Jesus then, Father, I plead that blood. I plead that blood. This our that precious blood. That blood that speaks. That is the blood of the Father, King of Glory. I ask for your mercy today, Father, for our sin was too much. Our sin was great, but your love is greater. Ancient of this King of Glory. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us, despite our sin, despite our flaws, despite our shortcomings, despite our iniquity. Father, King of Glory, you keep loving us. Thank you for your grace, Abba. Father, thank you for your grace that freed us from the bondage of sin. Thank you for upholding us. Thank you, Father, for remitting our sins. Thank you for washing our sins away through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, Father, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your grace, which you have made sufficient in our life, so that by your grace, we can have access to you. By your grace, we can boldly come to you. By your grace, we can look 
up to heaven to see you, to receive from you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. I wash our sin away, but without the blood, our sin wouldn't have been washed away. The blood of Jesus has justified us. The blood of Jesus has sanctified us. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your finished works on the cross of Calvary. King of Glory, we adore you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, David. Um, because um verse 12 then. um i'm going to come back to verses 9 and 10 because it's um it kind of leads on to my talk a little bit so um uh we look at verses 9 and 10 i proclaim your saving acts in the great assembly i do not seal my lips lord as you know i do not hide your righteousness in my heart i speak of your faithfulness and your saving help I do not conceal your love and your faithfulness from the great assembly. So, Father, so, Father, we do thank you, Lord, that uh, for, for your great love and great mercies, Lord, and we thank you, Lord. And, Father, we will proclaim you. We will proclaim your message. We will not hide from speaking about your great love and your great your your grace lord you are a gracious lord and you have given us so much lord and we continue to tell the world we will continue to to speak up and we know father there are many people lord who are brave in sp proclaiming your name proclaiming your word and we thank you for that lord we thank you for for what they do for us so father help us lord to be able to um, spread your word. Give us the courage and the strength to spread your word and, uh, <laughs> and let people know about your son, Jesus Christ. Help us to let people know that uh, that we love you and you love us and you can love them too, Lord, if they would just turn to you. So we have a message to proclaim, Father, and help us, Lord, to have that courage to proclaim that message. And we do we do this, Lord, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Again, we just um I'm gonna be doing a bit of a talk on that in a minute, but does anybody else want to pray over that one before I move on to the talk? Yes. Okay, go on, please go on, David. Yep. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Eternal Rock of Ages. Thank you, Adonai, for this wonderful privilege that you have given us, King of Glory. Thank you, Father, for giving us the, the great commission, the mandate, King of Glory, to preach about your righteousness. Abba, Father, we cannot do this alone. We need your help. We need the, the help of your Holy Spirit. We need your empowerment. We need your, your anointing, the anointing to preach about your righteousness, the anointing to declare your truth in every part of the world. Ancient of days, empower us. Father, I pray that you give each and every one of us utterance. Father, may we know the ways. Father, help us, help us to declare, help us to declare your truth, help us to preach about your righteousness in the boldness of the Holy Ghost, in the anointing of the Holy Ghost, in the power and authority of Jesus Christ. Abba, Father, we cannot do this alone. Strengthen us, strengthen us, King of God. Give us the courage to continue preaching your word, to continue declaring your truth to the world, to continue preaching about your righteousness despite the trials, despite the persecution, despite all the tribulation that we may encounter. Father, give us the courage, empower us. Father, empower us. Give us your supernatural strength. Give us your boldness, the strength of days. We need your King of glory. We need your presence as we as we carry out these divine mandates, as we fulfill the great commission. Thank you, King of Glory, Father, for we cannot stop preaching about the righteousness. We cannot stop testifying about your goodness. Father, help us to press on. 
give us grace. Let your grace remain sufficient for us in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, King of Glory, for loving us. We thank you, King of Glory, for, 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 for your grace, which you have made sufficient for us. Thank you, Father, for your mercy. Thank you, Father, for your anointing. Thank you, Father, for your revelation. Thank you for giving us the utterance. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, David. Um, does anybody else want to pray over um, uh, verses 9 and 10 before I move on? I mean, it's very apt what David's prayed about because and what that particular verse um, verses were saying, because uh, uh, it does sort of form part of my my talk in a minute. But does anybody else want to pray before I get to uh, get talking? OK. Um, David mentioned the um, the Great Commission. Um, let me just see if I can bring that up again. So the Great Commission. Well, we've got a couple of very simple verses. Um, uh, just one second. I believe somebody somebody not muted. Uh, I need to need we need to stay on mute really if we can, just so that we don't have the background noise. Uh, the only time we we unmute ourselves is when we actually um, when we're actually uh, are invited to pray. Um, but if we can keep ourselves on mute, otherwise it just says we don't have the background noise. Um, but yeah, the Great Commission, and it comes from Matthew twenty eight, um, verses sixteen to twenty. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee to to the mountain where Jesus told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. So we are commanded to go out and tell the world about Jesus Christ. We are commanded to um, <clears throat> let the world know who Jesus is and uh, what he actually does for our, our lives, what he actually does for us. Um, so I'm just trying to get up another Bible verse. But um, we, <clears throat> uh, we know that... Um, we are supposed to go out and spread the word and be. And I know many people, or probably all of us in this uh, on this platform, will go out and actually show the world, um, show the world about Jesus Christ and share share about Jesus Christ. And that that is great. That is really great. So, <clears throat> so that, I mean, that's what we we're called to do. But what is that message that we're supposed to be giving? What is that message that we're supposed to to share to people? Um, and we we can see we can see from John three sixteen, again very very common verse, um, which says, "God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that who should that who should ever believe in Him will not perish but have eternal life." That's that's a very very simple message. That is a message that we need to be proclaiming to people. The message of Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ. Um, if we believe in him, we are saved. That is what we need to declare. That is the message we need to be getting across. And we can see many times over from things, uh, particularly on social media, on Facebook, um, that people would declare that there is um, so many other things that you would need in order to, to have salvation. And whilst many of those things are actually true, uh, true in terms of um, repenting, in terms of um, not si not sinning and um, keeping the Sabbath, um, but we we can have a discussion on what the Sabbath is. Um, but the more to the point is, you know, there are there are many things that people will try and proclaim that we need to be saved. But a lot of those things aren't salvation issues. The only thing that we really need to actually understand is that we need to believe in Jesus Christ and trust in Him. That is the message that we need to be able to get across to people. And if we do that, we are saved. That is the important thing. 
as I say, anything else um, is is important, can be important. I mean, particularly the part about repentance, but repentance comes as um, uh, comes as an act of grace, not sort of an act of works. And when we accept Jesus Christ into our lives, and when we have Him into our hearts, we're going to want to be. Um, we're going to want to be um, free from our sins. We're going to want to repent of our sins. I mean, that's the that's the act of um, that's the act of grace that God gives us. That once we accept Jesus Christ, we are free from our sins and we can repent of them. Um, so that's an act of grace. But the saving part, what it saves us, is the fact that we believe in Jesus Christ. He is our Lord and Savior, and that's that is the simple message. That is the message that we can tell people that in order to be saved, just believe in your Lord Jesus Christ. That is a very, very simple message. And that's one as uh, as disciples, we are going out and making more disciples of the nations, letting them know that about Jesus Christ. And we can tell them our stories. We can tell them how Jesus Christ has affected our lives. We can tell them how Jesus Christ has made such a difference to us. And that is our story. That is what we can tell people. That is our message that we can give people. Tell people how Jesus Christ changes our lives. Again, it's a simple message. It's a very simple message that we can give people so that they can know that Jesus Christ has saved us and they can save them and that they can be free from their sins as we are free from our sins. It's a very, very simple message. And that is the message we can give people. So don't be frightened to be able to give that message. Let us go boldly and make disciples of nations that they they too can know Jesus Christ. So be bold, be brave, and let's spread that message. Let the world know about Jesus Christ because he has come into our lives. He has saved us from our sins. So let's be bold and brave and let's go forward and, and spread the word and honour that great commission that Jesus Christ has given us to make more disciples of the, of the nations. So let us pray on that. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your grace. We have, we have thank, thanked you, Lord, for the grace that you've given us. And we thank you, Lord, that you give us the boldness to proclaim your name. We have prayed in the Psalms, Lord, that we should not be, um, that we should always have your name on our lips that we will continue to praise and honour you always, Lord. So, Father, may we continue to do that. May we continue to be bold and brave in proclaiming your message to the world. May the world know about, about you through us, through our ministries, Lord. We will be praying for our ministries later, but through our ministries, may our ministries demonstrate and declare your love for, for the world and that the world can see this, Lord. So we are hold it, hold this um, this prayer up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So we've had the message about um, we've had the message about um, spreading the word about be, the Great Commission. Does anybody want to pray over that before we move on? Yes, yeah, I will. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the incredible privilege you've given us to be part of the work that the Holy Spirit is doing on planet Earth. We thank you for that privilege. And Lord, we pray that you will help each and every one of us on this group to teach others that the first step in making disciples is evangelism. Lord, I pray that we can raise up people and many places that can gossip the gospel. But people need to hear the message of Christ and him crucified. But Lord, many are not willing to hear it. They don't want the message. But Lord, we pray that you will touch the hearts and minds of people so that that message will go in and bring forth good fruit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, John. We do come to our time of prayer of intercessions. Um, We've got a few a few here, not quite as many as normal, but we've still got a, a few prayers here. Um, so we're coming on to our prayers. But before we pray, um, pray those prayers, um, I just want to, I was reminded yesterday that the importance of the Lord's Prayer, because everything that the Lord is in the Lord's Prayer, um, 
basically meets all our needs. So if we actually start with the Lord's Prayer, um, then we can actually know that um, within that our needs will be met. Uh, obviously, we will come on to um, individual situations and circumstances, but let's just pray the Lord's Prayer now. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Father, we do bring to you these prayers now, uh, these prayers for um, for nations and people's uh, particular situations and for the ministries that are out there doing your work. And so um, a lot of this, look, Father, will just be um, the, the tip of the iceberg. But Father, hear our prayers for these particular um, particular situations, Lord. So Father, first of all, I bring before you the nations that are in conflict. We know of Ukraine, um, Lord, where the conflict still goes on, uh, where Russia seems to be bombarding Ukraine with more and more um, armory. So we pray for peace in that particular nation, Lord, that the those who perpetrate the, um, the, the wars and the conflicts there, Lord, that you open their hearts and soften their hearts, that... Um, uh, that the power of love overcomes the love of power and that people want to ha will have peace there. We know that people want peace there, Father, but may they have peace in, in Ukraine. And Father, we bring to you the situation in uh, Israel and the Gaza Strip, um, the war that's going on there, Lord. Again, Father, we look and ask you for peace in that particular part of the world. May there be peace there, Lord. May these people know your love. We know, Lord, that you walk with them through these particular difficult circumstances, Lord, but they need peace there. They need peace in that, in that um, part of the world, in the Middle East there, in Israel and Gaza Strip. May there be peace there. May they know your love. And may that love, again, seep into the hearts of those who seek to cause their destruction. May they know your love, Lord, and that your your love creates the peace that they long for there, Lord. So we ho hold up Israel and the Gaza Strip to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And Father, we hold up to you, um, hold up to you Pakistan and India, both parts of the world, Lord, where being a Christian is very, very difficult. We see people on this uh, platform today, Lord, who are in those countries. And we thank you, Lord, that they're able to come come to uh, this platform, Lord, and uh, praise you and declare your name and uh, honour you, Lord, in prayer. We thank you for that, Lord. But we know it's a difficult part, place to be. We know, Lord, there are, are many people who have um, uh, are persecuted there because of their faith in you through your son, Jesus Christ. So may they be, <coughs> may they know peace, Lord. May they have the freedom to be able to talk about you and express you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the, for their, um, um, for their um, commitment to you and their dedication to be able to spread your name. These are wonderful people, Lord. And we continue to ask you, Lord, that uh, they, they are able to do so in freedom. But my Lord, may the persecution stop. May they feel, may they feel that freedom in their hearts in <coughs> in Pakistan and India, and there are other places in the world, Lord, also where we know it is difficult to be a Christian. And Father, we just ask, Lord, that um, again for for peace in these particular parts of the world, that the persecution stops, and that um, people can be free to speak about the love that comes through you, Lord. So, Father, we hold Pakistan and India up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And, Father, there's still um, parts of the world that are um, suffering from the consequences of earthquakes, 
and I'm thinking particularly of Nepal and Turkey um, that come to mind. Um, so we hold them up to you, Lord, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. But those that have been affected by the earthquakes, who's lost, lost livelihoods, um, that they they were able to return to a, a life of normality um, or what is considered to be no, normality. We know, Father, that for these people, that it is a struggle. But Lord, let them know that you are walking with them, particularly through this particular time when they are struggling to get their lives back together. Let them know that you are with them, that you are carrying them through these particular times, Lord. So we ask this in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So those are prayers for situations in the world. Um, does anybody want to specifically pray over those before we move on? Um, our next sort of uh, prayers will be for healing. But does anybody want to pray over those situations in the countries in the world before we move on? Yeah, I will. Lord God, you see everything that's happening in the entire universe. You know every hair on every person's head living on planet Earth. And Lord, you also know the situations of terrible uh, death and suffering with these wars and so many other things that we don't even know about, but you see it all. And Lord, we pray, we pray that you will bring peace, which can only come through the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. And we pray especially for those that are Christians, that you strengthen them at the time when they have to die for you. And we pray that you will use the Christians throughout this world to bring others to you. So even those that are in war and in conflicts and are suffering and dying will have something afterwards that is worthy, something that you have paid for us, something that is beyond price. That is eternal life. We thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, John. Okay. We turn now to some prayers for healing. I've got three people here that um, I'm offering to, to our Father through Jesus Christ um, for their healing. So, Father, hear our prayers for healing. Place your healing hands upon these people, Lord. And um, we, we ask you, Lord, to, um, to supernaturally heal them if possible, Lord. But certainly, um, whether it be through supernatural healing or whether it be through the the skills of the people that you have given the gifts of gifts to heal, whether it be the doctors and surgeons, Father, may these particular people be healed now. So, Father, I place up to you Robert Berry, a friend in Chicago, um, who has one way or another has had a lot of ill health throughout his life. Um, but uh, this week he was telling me about the fact that he's been feeling dizzy, Lord, which is probably part of the... Um, uh, operation he had um, many years ago on his brain uh, but we ask you Lord that um, all those scars and all that situation with his brain be healed now Lord so the dizziness is gone and all the other ill health that he has suffered from, from previously whether it be his breathing difficulties whether it be his blood pressure father that, that all these illnesses are now gone Lord and the, he is healed and he knows um, great health Lord because you have placed your healing hands upon him. So we ask you, Lord, for Robert to be healed in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And Father, um, Samuel Omwery has asked for um, prayers for his son who is sick. Uh, I'm not sure of the particular circumstances of his illness, but Father, you do. You know, you know um, uh, Samuel's son, Wycliffe, you know how um, he, you know his illness. You know that. So again, Lord, we ask you to place your your healing hands upon him, and in the name of your Son Jesus Christ, the Great Physician, that he be healed, Lord, from that particular sickness. So heal him, Lord, and let him know your great love and your great mercies, Lord, and your grace that you have healed him, Lord, and it is through you that he has been healed. And Father. Uh, our friend Robert Kalule in Uganda um, has been suffering from flu this week. We just ask you, Lord, to, to uh, 
last I spoke to him, he did, did seem to be on the mend, but was still feeling weak. Um, but Father, we ask you, Lord, that that be gone now, that uh, flu-like symptoms that he had have been gone and that you have healed him and that he knows it's through you, Lord, and your love for him that he is healed. So, Father, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, heal Robert as well, Lord, Robert Kalule, as well as Robert Berry and as well as Wycliffe. We ask you, Lord, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, that these people be healed. OK, if anybody wants to um, to pray over those particular um, people or if there's anybody else that you know of who um, is in need of healing, feel free to open your mic and, and pray. Yes, Lord God, I want to pray for a number of people uh, in my church where I go and also for um, those connected to us. Lord, I think of Morgan, who has been uh, had heart problems and now has cancer. Lord, we, we feel that um, it's time for her to move on. Um, but Lord, we pray for a legacy that she's leaving behind and for their relatives, Lord, that um, they will come to know the truth uh, through a correct witness, Lord. Pray for Donna also, who's in a great deal of pain with fiber, neuralgia, and other sicknesses. And we press, pray especially for a young man called Joe, uh, who's only 24, but he's got a cancer and all sorts of other issues. And Lord, we pray that um, the ke chemotherapy and the prayers, Lord, that you will heal him. Um, and that will be a witness to his family because his family are not Christians. He's not a Christian. But we bring him to you, Lord, because you are the healer. You are the one that can heal these people. And anybody else that we bring to you, we know you have the capacity to heal. Um, and many do get healed, but at the same time, there are others that it's their time to move on and be with you. Um, and others, Lord, you may use the uh, pain of people's anguish as uh, people are hurting and suffering with sickness, that you use that to make people look at the big questions that is there a God and can God help us? And Lord, we just pray that people will come to you through the suffering of others, that they will be led to you because of the sickness, as well as those that you heal. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, John. Uh, does anybody else want to be praying for uh, for healing of any sorts of people they may know? Um, please feel free to open your mic. Okay, I've uh, got, uh, got three three prayers here now for um, people who are um, asking for prayers for, for the um, people that have passed away, people that have, um, uh, for one way or another, have, um, um, are no longer with us. Um, and they, we've had people ask for prayer. Um, Kuboka has asked for prayers for Nayarango Thomas, who passed away. So, Father, we hold him up to you, Lord. We hope and pray and trust, Lord, that he knows your son, Jesus Christ, that he comes to you, Lord, um, knowing you, knowing your son, Jesus Christ. But we also pray for the family, Lord, and the friends of that of um, Noah Rango, Thomas, that, um, that in their grief, Lord, that they are, they are um, comforted by you, that they know you and that they can feel your presence, Lord, as they um as they take on their grief, Lord, for the um for the loss of Nyarango, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for for Kovaka for bringing bringing this to our attention, Lord, so that we can pray. I'm sure, Lord, that she too is affected by his death. So we pray, Lord, that um we pray, Lord, that uh, she is comforted too, Lord, uh, in this particular time. So we pray for pray for them all, Lord, the de over the death of Nyarango. That firstly, Lord, that he rests in peace with you, but also to comfort the family um, as they um, as they grieve his lot, his loss. 
Um, Father, we bring to you um, Shazi Khan has asked the Lord for prayers for his um, uh, aunt that has passed away. Um, she passed away on um, Christmas Eve. Um, Lord, we just pray that um, again she is with you. That in passing, Lord, we know, Lord, that um, Shazi was concerned that um, there might have been something demonic um, that had caused her illness. But Lord, we we know, Lord, that um, this is a family that are actually um, connected to you, love you, Lord, know you, Lord. And so we pray, Lord, that um, uh, in her death, Lord, that you were there, the Holy Spirit dwelt within her and that she, <laughs> she rest with you, Lord, in your presence. But again, Lord, we pray, Lord, that um, uh, the family are actually um, comforted in their grief that they know your presence, your loving presence, Lord, as they um, as they grieve the loss of this particular aunt. And Father, um, Golfam Majid, who is normally with us, um, but is travelling this morning, but he is travelling, Lord, to, to his family uh, elsewhere in Pakistan um, because um, close relatives have been shot and been killed. Two, two brothers have been killed. And so... Um, it seems as though it was in a dispute over loud music, um, but none, no dispute should end up in the loss of life, Lord. We know that it happens, Lord, but no um, su such a dispute as this should, should not have ended up with a loss of life. But two, um, two brothers have been shot because of it and killed, and the family grieve for them. So again, Lord, we, we pray, Lord, that um, these brothers um, have, have known you and that uh, they rest in peace with you and your son, Jesus Christ. Um, but, Father, that, uh, again, the family are, are comforted with your presence, Lord, um, in their time of grief. May they be, It's difficult to sort of come to terms with such a tragedy, I'm sure. But, Father, um, may they um, know that you are with them, that your love is with them in this particular time, Lord. So we hold, we hold Gold Farm and all those who are affected by um, this loss. Uh, we hold them up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So there's some prayers there for, um, for those that have departed and those that, who, who miss them. Again, if anybody wants to pray for that, uh, either of, any one of those particular three, or if there's any other particular um, prayers that people want to pray over because they know of people who have passed away, please feel free to open your mic. Okay, we, we're now sort of coming on to some more individual situations. Um, just pray for uh, for John, um, who's been very good with uh, with coming to prayer with us this morning. John Benson, we thank you, Lord. But we are, we um, we know that this this continuing situation with passports for his family um, to be able to come over to the England. So we hold that situ uh, situation up to you, Father, that um, uh, this can be resolved quickly, that the his wife and his daughters can and get their passports and come and be with John in England. We know, Lord, that uh, it seems to be going on and on, but your timing is always right, Lord. You, you know, we don't always know uh, why these sort of things are prolonged, but we know, Lord, that your timing is always right. But, Lord, we just do continue to pray that this situation is resolved so that um, John and his family can be together um, in each other's arms, Lord. And knowing, Lord, that you have walked with them in this particular uh, time uh, and you have carried them, Lord. Um, we were reminded last night of the, um, the poem about the footprints in the sand and that in our times of troubles, the weather seemed to be only one set of footprints. It was you. It was your footprints because you were carrying us in those times of trouble. And so, Lord, help John to realise that even in these particular difficult times, that you are carrying him. You are carrying him and his family um, through these particular times. 
and that uh, they will be resolved and there will be there will be more than one set of footprints in the sand. It's an actual fact. We'd we love to be um there to be um sort of fourteen footprints in the sand where he's got his family with him as well. Uh, probably got their backs right there, but um, we know that um, we are longing for those families, to, families to be together again. So we are, we hold them up to you, Lord, and for we hold up to you, Lord, in the name of your Son Jesus Christ, Jason Moron, in Canada, um, again with sort of um, threats of having to be imprisoned um, through sort of family circumstances. Um, so Father, we just hold them up to you because Jason is. Um, a dear, dear um, servant of yours, and he, <laughs> even in his his darkest times, Lord, he doesn't turn away from you. He still speaks of you. So we just ask you, Lord, to be with him and comfort him, and for his situation to be um, resolved, that uh, his family situation be resolved, and that they can that they can be together uh, in your presence. So, Father, we hold Jason up to you in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. Um, does anybody want to pray over those particular situations? We're really sort of coming on to, to people's ministries, um, finances and uh, the like now. But if anybody just wants to pray over those last two people, John or Jason, or if there's any other situations that people want to pray over, feel free to open your mic. Okay. We come to time of um, prayer for um, four ministries, but we start off with those who are particularly asking for um, financial breakthroughs one way or another um, so that they are able to continue the work that they do um, so that they are able to, to shine the light of um, our Father in heaven. So, Father, we do pray, bring these people to you. I mean, most of these, Lord, will be asking for um, for financial breakthrough uh, in their particular situations, in their particular ministries, Lord, so that they are able to um, to seek to do your work uh, more effectively, Lord. So, Father, we bring to you um, Duke Oya, um, again, asking for financial breakthrough, Um for the um, particularly for the children as they return to school um children will be going back to school lord um as there will be many in many places in the world after the christmas break um but i think they're looking for financial breakthrough to for the children to be able to go back to school for them to be able to fed be fed for them to be educated and for them to also lord, lord be nourished spiritually um with your word so we hold um, Duke Oyer up to you. Um, Don, your mic is open. Did you want to pray, John? That's uh, oh, right. Okay. Um, uh, Sakina Paul has asked for his uh, prayers for his church. Again, the struggling with no finances. No money coming in. So, Father, we are we hold um, Sakina Paul's church up to you uh, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, that they are able to have the resources that they need for that church to continue and continue to grow, because that's what we want to be able to happen, Lord, is to see these ministries grow because they are spreading your name um, throughout their particular corner of the world. So, please, Lord, we hold Sakina Paul's church up to you. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Uh, Anthony has just asked, Lord, for a um, job. Um, uh, I know there will be many people out there, Lord, who do not have work and are looking for work in order to be able to provide their families and be able to continue to do the work they do on your behalf. So, Father, we ask, Lord, that Anthony is able to find a job and for all those who are struggling to find jo jobs, Lord, that something comes along, Lord, that actually helps them to be able to um, put food on the table and, and, and nourish people both physically and spiritually, Lord. But here, Lord, is Anthony that is asking for a job, Lord. So we hold him up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. 
Nicodemus Andiecki. Um, is doing great work um, with get, getting his orphanage completed, but still needs some finances to be able to complete that work um, in that particular part of Kenya that he's in. Um, so we ask you, Lord, that uh, the resources are are supplied for him to be able to continue that the building of that orphanage to complete it, so that the children have um, good toilet facilities for starters, because I know that's one of the things that they struggled with, um, but also have um, good accommodation and, and a, 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 an opportunity to be educated, Lord, and to to make their lives so much so much better, Lord. But we thank you for Nicholas's uh, Nicodemus's work. Bear your pardon. And may the um, may that work continue. May the resources be available for that um, particular orphanage to be completed. Um, Philip Marara um, is fundraising for his church tomorrow. Um, again, all these all these churches and ministries, Father, need need to have the resources to continue. So may Philip's Philip's work be blessed, Lord. Um, and that his um, his fundraising is blessed, Lord, and that the the money's coming for them to be able to continue continue doing their work for you. So we hold Philip Marara up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ. Um, Douglas Mandia, he has orphans that need to be fed, and there are, <clears throat> there are many here, Lord, who need to be um, who are asking Lord for financial breakthrough have the resources to feed their children and again father we ask lord that um that these children are fed um physically um and nourished physically but also nourished spiritually with your word lord that they know you lord that um uh they do not live on bread alone that they actually know they know you lord and are fed by you um spiritually as well as um physically lord and particularly, Lord um, Douglas Mondaire um, has asked, asked for that. Um, Pastor Edwin has asked for that too, Father. So we hold Pastor Edwin's work with the children up to you. Pastor Alex as well, Lord, food for the children. And <clears throat> Richard Dillawar, um, warm clothes and shoes for children, um, as he does his what does your work in Pakistan, Father. So we hold Richard de la War up to you, Lord, um, for his uh, to provide the resources for um, clothes and shoes um, for the children that he looks after. Um, well, ch um, evangelist um, Ishak, um, children that he looks after, he, he cares for children that are in slavery, needing food and drink. Um, Omuya. Kingsley, food and clothes for children, Father. We ask you, Lord, that um, again you are able to provide for 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 them, that the resources are available, that they are able to be um, fed and clothed, Lord. And again, Lord, they also come to know your word through the work of um, Amuya as well, Lord. That they come to know you through that through his work and his love and your love, Lord. So we hold them up to you in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ. Ben Carter in India asks for prayers for the 30 kids that he looks after as well, Lord. Again, Lord, we ask you, Lord, to help them to be, to be physically nourished and spiritually nourished and clothed as well, Lord, that they are able to um, uh, know that you, it's your presence, it's your um, resources that are being made available for them to be able to be fed and clothed, Lord. So we hold them up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, Christopher Ongeri is asking, Lord, for um, the opportunity or for the resources to start a farming project. This is someone, Lord, who's looking to help himself out of poverty, helping himself, helping himself um, and others and um, that he looks after to come out of poverty by starting this farming project. So, Father, we ask you, Lord, to help him, Lord, to um, and to help himself, really, to um, come out of poverty through this particular project. So, Father, we hold, um, we hold, uh, uh, where are we? Um, 
we hold Christopher up to you, Christopher and Gary up to you, Lord, that he is actually able to um, start this farming project. We hold him up to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Sawana so Spring needs food and medicine. Um, not very well, I believe, Lord. Um, and we do pray for her healing, Lord. We do pray that she is healed. But we ask you, Lord, that the, uh, the, the food and medicine requirements are met, Lord. That she is uh, yeah, able to, uh, Sawana is able to overcome um, those particular difficulties, those needs, Lord, are provided for. Um, we ask this, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, and our uh, Pastor Daniel's in Nepal. We, we prayed earlier for the um, for Nepal and it's um, for the people that have been affected by the earthquake there to be able to recover. We hold that particular part of the world up to you, Lord. But um, Pastor, uh, Pastor Daniel's Lord is um, looking for the house for a house for some of those people that have been suffering um, through that earthquake, Lord. That they be a house be provided for them so that they have shelter from the elements, Lord. So, Father, we ha we ask you, Lord, to to honor uh, Pastor Daniel's prayer, Lord that that house is provided for these particular people. So we hold that up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. I think that's the prayers for financial breakthrough of one sort or another. Um, we're coming on to the, our ministries in a minute. There's quite a lot of the ministries, but does anybody want to pray for, um, for any of those situations or um situations they know where they, where there's financial breakthroughs breakthrough that is required okay i'll just um yes just... yeah terry i'll pray heavenly yep. father as i pray often lord we see so many people that are teaching a wrong gospel or twisting your word to make money. And yet many people that are doing the Great Commission in a way that honors you are teaching the truth and trying to bring people to you as their savior, Lord, are really struggling financially. So we pray for all those, including myself, for Terry's ministry, for many others, Lord, that you will open doors to provide finance. Lord, that you will link us with those that are financially well off, but also blessed with a gift of giving, that they are able to give to others. And Lord, also for those that uh, can raise up businesses, Lord, raise up businesses that could provide for them and their family and for their ministries. We pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, John. Um, it's um, quite fitting. I'm just looking. And Yasmin, as, um, as we go on to our prayers for ministries, uh, I see Yasmin um, Javed has asked for prayers that she'd like to be able to um, uh, start a Bible study um, uh, this coming year um, and to help people grow spiritually. So, Father, we do ask for that to, to, um, to be resourced and for that to happen, Lord. That Yasmin um, is able to start this Bible study um, uh, teaching people biblical truth, teaching them the, the your word that comes through the Bible. So may they, so may Yasmin be successful, Lord, in in having that particular Bible study. And we thank you, Lord, for her willingness to be able to teach others, to spread the word, and to show others your love and your glory, Lord. So Father, we do hold that particular ministry up to you of Yasmin's, Lord, that it is able to 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 uh, bear fruit. Um, and bring in a harvest field, Lord, of people. So we hold Jasmine up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And Father, um, we prayed earlier for the um, for India and the people in India, particularly who is, you know, who are spreading your word. And we thank you for their dedication, Lord. But I hold up to you, Lord, the ministries of Samuel John, John Babu Vard, Vardhanapu, Diamani Vardhanapu, John and John Victor and Pastor Nagarjuna, all people who are ded dedicated to doing your work. They go through the villages, um, spreading your word and bringing many people to Christ, Lord, bringing many people to your son. 
and they are doing this lord because they are the workers in your harvest field bringing in that harvest lord and we thank you for their work lord but may you continue to to help them to be able to do that work and to spread your name and may they be resourced to be able to do that lord and the children that they help as well lord to become to come to know your son jesus christ may they be um be great workers in the harvest field in future to come lord we hold their particular ministries up to you in the mighty name of, of Jesus Christ. Um, evangelist uh, Arshad um, has asked for prayers for, um, for all the churches and ministries within, um, within Pakistan. Um, so, Father, again, we know that Pakistan is a particularly difficult part of the world to be, um, to be a, a Christian. And again, there are many people who are doing such wonderful work in that part of the world. So all the churches and all the ministries in Pakistan, Lord, we hold up for you, to you, Lord, to be able to continue to do their work and to be able to spread your word. And again, a difficult part um, to be a Christian. We know there is much persecution that goes on out there, Lord, uh, as, towards the Christians. So we do pray, Lord, that... Um, these people are able to continue to do your work and to have freedom of speech, Lord, to spread the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We hold them up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. John, I see, see, see you've got your mic open. Did you any more prayers there, John? I just... Uh... <laughs> We continue. Um, prayers for the unity of the churches in, in Liberia. Um, again, uh, Liberia can, can be a, um, a particularly difficult part of the world, um, but the churches in Liberia, we hold up to you, Lord. Uh, through Pastor or Bishop Jackson, Lord, we just ask you, Lord, to be able to, to um, look after these churches, Lord, and they pray for unity of the churches. And Father, this is kind of why we're here all together, Lord, because we do believe in unity. We do believe in all Christians and Christian ministries coming together, Lord, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. And that's what we, that's what we uphold, Lord, as well. But here, Lord, we've been asked, Lord, to pray for the unity of the churches in Liberia. So we do pray, Lord, that um, these churches are united in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, and they, they together have a louder voice to proclaim his name. So we hold those churches up to you in, in his mighty name. Um, there's one of a few, um, few people who have either radio or TV ministries. And again, Lord, we, we hold these people up to you in, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, we particularly look to Pastor Jonathan Bander, who has a radio ministry. Uh, I think looking to sort of branch out on his own at the moment because his ministry has cost him a lot of money to do it for a specific radio station. And he's looking to be able to branch out to be able to do this himself. But we do pray for him, that particular ministry. And we pray, we thank you, Lord, that he is able to, to use the technology to be able to spread your word um, in Zambia. And Father, we pray for Pastor Philip, um, Pastor Philip uh, Waffler, who has a radio ministry in um, Bugoma area of Kenya. We pray that, that continues to be successful and that brings many more people to come to know you through your son, Jesus Christ. So we pray for um, a harvest from both those particular ministries. And Father, Senior Mamani um, Jane has his TV ministry in Kenya. Kenya. Uh, we pray that continues and that he is able to bring many more people um, to Christ, um, that they they know you, they know you through His amazing work, and we thank you, Lord, for um, uh, for what He does um, and the commitment that He's made to you. But may He be, uh, um, uh, may He be as as successful what He does there um, in Your mighty name. Uh, so I'm just reading the. Uh, um, Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we just um, uh, also we just want to pray, face up to you, Derek Raybon, 
in um, in uh, Texas, United States of America, with his work with um, with TV um, and running his own TV um, TV sort of networks as such. So we pray, Lord, that again that is actually a success, Lord, and that many more people come to know you through his amazing work out there in in Texas. Um, Tanvir Nasir in um, in Pakistan, um, doing amazing work, going from place to place, spreading your name. Um, may he continue to to continue to do that work, and that um, many people come to know your name and the name of your son Jesus Christ through his particular travelling. Um, he's also asked for some some resources, um, and I, I I believe Lord, these are these are sort of um, really needed for that particular work not just for him but for the pastors that he leads because he's asking for 12 motorcycles um but that was obviously lord to be able to get the pastors from one village to another so that they can continue to do your work so if that is if that is possible lord may that particular request be um be uh, honored lord and resource but he's also asking for land for church for a church and a school um Again, Lord, we do know, Lord, that um, churches and schools come together um, and share share particular buildings. And Lord, uh, I know um, Tanvir and Nasir would like to uh, have the land to be able to build that church and that school, and to be able to educate the children um, and educate them out of poverty, um, but also, Lord, to educate them spiritually as well. And likewise, I mean, Patrice has just joined us, um, Patrice Buta, um, doing very great work in Lahore in uh, Pakistan with the Uriah Welfare Organization. Uh, may his work continue, particularly to be able to um, to be able to educate children out of poverty from the brick kiln community there. Um, there is a lot of brick kiln communities there that people are serving and Patrice is doing amazing work with, with those in Lahore. Um, so we ask you, Lord, to continue to help hit that ministry grow and that he's able to bring many more people out of poverty through the education program that they are putting forward um, in that particular part of the world. So we hold your eye welfare organisation up to you, Lord, for, um, for success and for them to be able to um, educate children out of poverty, but for them to realise that, Lord, it's through you and your love that these children are actually helped and honoured, Lord. So we hold them up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, so he'll, so he, so hail also mini, uh, his ministry to grow in a brick kiln community. We ask you, Lord, that that is too honoured, that um, the brick kiln communities are, are, are a form of slavery in Pakistan. I say form of slavery, they are slavery in Pakistan. And we do ask you, Lord, that these people are, are able to find their way out of that particular slavery, out of that particular poverty. And the people like Sir, Sir Hale as well um, are able to, to help in doing, showing your love by bringing these people out of that particular situation. Um, uh, Stephen, Steve, Stephen Ondara, um, not quite sure how they're doing it, but they're having New Year celebrations. Um, we trust Father that these New Year celebrations are um, in your name that you are uh, that these are um, amongst dedicated people to you Lord but he's just asking Lord for the um, support for that particular celebrations so we pray Lord that this is indeed um, being uh, New Year celebrations are being celebrated uh, in your name Lord and that you're able to support those celebrations um, I bring to you Justin Uga. Um, he has a children's ministry doing great work. Uh, may that continue, Father, to be able to bring children uh, up um, spiritually, spiritually nourished as well as physically nourished. Justine, Justine is doing great work, Lord. So we continue to, we pray, Lord, that that continues to be the case, that that work continues to be successful. Um, we just pray for, we prayed for earlier for Gulf Ahmadjid, who was um, traveling to a different part of Pakistan because of the 
loss of um, some close relatives, two brothers. But we just pray, Lord, that his ministry continues, particularly as he's um, come out of being incarcerated through um, being wrongly accused of blasphemy. But he's now out of that situation, Lord, and his ministry is um, is growing again. So, Father, we do ask, Lord, that um, uh, you continue to help Gold Farmer G with his ministry, that many more people are blessed with what he's done. And we thank you, Lord, for his dedication to doing your work, Lord. Wonderful servant of yours, and we thank you, Lord. Victor, Sha uh, Victor Jampania um, in Zamb Zambia. Um, just ask you to we pray for um, his particular um, churches and ministries, Lord, that again they continue to grow and that they bring many more people to, to come to know you, Lord. So we, <laughs> we hold him up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And our farm also has asked for prayers for his ministry and family. Lord, we do ask you, Lord, to uphold them, Lord, and keep them strong and keep them um fruitful and blessed lord that our farms ministry and family lord are, are blessed lord and we thank you lord for their amazing work with what they do so we ask you lord to keep them fruitful and blessed in the mighty name of your son jesus christ um and just finally we are coming towards the end of our prayers andrew is normally with us but hasn't joined us today um but she's just asked for prayers for for pastors worldwide um um so all, all of those people who are um sorry all those people who are uh doing great work great ministry the pastors um and you as are for prayers for those so father we do hold every pastor up to you lord um for the amazing work they do um bringing people to come to know you and supporting people um um to be sort of um truthful and um and coming to know you and being spiritually fed as well as uh, uh, physically nourished as well lord we hold them up to you lord in your mighty name and particularly lord um we know it is difficult because the statistics that andrew is quite good at providing me with we can see that um uh, from what she's saying that 38 percent of the pastors are thinking of of quitting and half of these are under the age of 45 so they're young pastors who have still got uh, should have a lot of um, uh, a lot of life left in them to be able to give to you, Lord. But because of um, various situations, um, they are thinking of quitting. Um, and it seems as though, in particularly, and we're just using this as a as a demonstration, as a, a, a as an example. Um, Father, we know that um, in the United States of America, 250 pastors leave the ministry every month. And this is such a loss, Lord, to the work that um, people are trying to do on your behalf, Lord. So we do hold these pastors up to you for strength, Lord, that they are able to, to continue to do your work with enthusiasm. Because, um, um, because many of them do get burnt out. They do find it um, a struggle to carry on. They, they lack the energy because the, the work can be so great. So we do ask, Lord, that um, uh, that um, these particular um, pastors, Lord, that they do find the, the money they need for the uh, work to continue, um, but also for the, the help from volunteers, because, again, um, volunteer help uh, with the pastors, with the ministries, they are um, declining quite rapidly at times, Lord. But these pastors need the, the support of their their um, congregation, the support of the volunteers within their communities to be able to continue to do their work, to be able to show your love, Father. So we hold them up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, that they are able to have the strength, have the energy to continue to do your work. So we hold them all up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. And amen. Okay. Welcome, Jonathan. We we prayed for you just briefly, just a second ago. So you, I think you missed that as you came in. Um, but we have we have come to the, the end of our prayers now. That's our our time up for today. Um, but is there anybody else who specifically wants to pray before we do close? 
Okay, we've got a couple of couple of mics. Hello. Uh, we've got um, Patrice. Did you want to pray? Ah uh, yes. Uh, I want to pray for everyone who uh, has been here. So let's pray. So Father Lord, we thank you for everyone who has been joining us, and we really, our heart has been fulfilled with thanksgiving to you, and we really thank. Thankful for the brother Terry, who unite the everyone and bring them on one page and in front of you and guide and help to everyone how we can pray and come into you. And we thank you so much for this great opportunity in which we unite and bring to you and every person, I'm really thankful for each one who are doing a fabulous and wonderful and amazing work to save the lives in your mighty name, Jesus. So we thank you so much for each ministry who are doing a great work. They are doing the work as evangelists, pastors, and teachers, so bless them all and help us to, we encourage to everyone to accept Jesus Christ and give themselves into you. So Father Lord, we thank you so much for this ministry and group and especially we are going to give, give you the this new year and we try our best to do this thing in you so bless us we fulfill your aim your way and your work that you gave us and help us we give ourselves in your control so you drive us on the right place and the right way. So we will be blessed in your Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. You, thank you. Jonathan, I see you. Jonathan Bander, I see your mic open. Did you want to pray? Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, let us pray for the spirit of unit and the power of the Lord uh, to unite us, uh, to read us, even uh, as we are living 2023 to 2024, so the power of the Holy Ghost. I should leave us, uh, read us, and then protect us in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray on that direction? Our God and our Father, King of Glory, we bow before your throne, our God, as we recognize your presence, King of Glory. It is in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, Heavenly Master, because of this, a great opportunity, our God, to allow us, our Father, to gather in such man, our Lord. Heavenly Master, we pray that the King of Glory will so appreciate for the gift of life that Heavenly Father, you have given us, our Lord. Even Father Lord, for uh, for the love that always up, Father, you shown us uh, to bring your uh, only begotten Son, Christ Jesus, to come and born for us, up, Father, to see the salvation. Let's show love, up, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray for this. Um, Moment, Upper Father, for my fellow uh, pastors, evangelists everywhere, Upper Father, who are here, Jehovah Almighty God, we pray that the King of Glory unite us, Upper Father, unite us, King of Glory, so that your will, Upper Father, shall be done in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Master, we pray for even our rector, Upper Father, that the King of Glory anoint him, Upper Father, giving them a full wisdom, Upper Father, even your grace, Jehovah Almighty God, to lead him and direct him, Upper, upper Father, wherever he can stand, Upper Father, to preach. And uh, teach uh, heaven master your ways, oh God. It is in the mighty name of Jesus, King of Glory, as we are crossing over Upper Father tomorrow, heaven master. We pray that Lord, without, without your power, without your direction, without the Upper Father. 
Your will, oh God, we cannot manage to do it. Oh. God, we pray that heaven must be with us, oh God. It is in the mighty name of Christ Jesus, uh, King of glory, as we concluding this year, upper Father, we surrender everything, oh God, unto your hands. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we pray that everything, Father Lord, that we have done in this year, upper Father, let it shall be so, oh, oh God. It is in the mighty name of Christ Jesus, Father, we pray with a lot of thanksgiving in our heart. Amen and amen. Thank you very much, Jonathan. So we have come to the end Thank of you. our prayers. Um, we um, So we are closing now, um, but uh, it just remains to sort of say, keep an eye on the, the groups if you can, just so that you ha you see these invites that, um, that come out. Um, because as I say, I have been trying to look at ways of being a bit more efficient with my time in, t in terms of getting the prayers and the, the invites and the teachings out. So just keep an eye on your group so that you can see these invites. Um, I say prayer prayer group or this prayer meeting is every Saturday morning, <laughs> bar the one or one or two odd occasions. But we do have these prayer meetings every Saturday morning. So please please keep an eye out for the invites um, and invite other people as well. The more more people we can have, the greater the greater our prayers will be. So we do ask you, Lord, mm -hmm. to do ask you to keep a, um, a look out for that. Um, but we say we are uh, closing, um, and I'm going to close with the grace. So the mm -hmm. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit be with, with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. So p please feel free to open your mics and, and say goodbye, and a happy, happy new year to you all. Um, so uh, please, feel free, please feel free to open your mics and say goodbye. So, uh, okay. Happy New Year. God bless everybody and happy, happy New Year. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Bless you all. Thank you. Bless you all. Yeah, hey, thank you. Bless, bless the me, bless meeting. Bless me, everybody. Blessings.